November 29th. The message of the seraphim. Then flew one of the seraphim unto me, having a live coal in his hand, and said, Lo this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Isaiah 6 6-7 Each seraph had six wings. With twain he covered his face. Here was reverence, which is one of the noblest traits in character, whether angelic or human. The statesman who beneath human movements set himself to understand the divine purpose. The artist, whether in music, poetry, or painting, who discovers a presence which fills him with elevated and pure ideals. The scientist who compares himself to a child gathering pebbles on the shores of a boundless ocean. These resemble the seraphim with their veiled faces. With twain they covered their feet self-effacement and humility. If we begin to think and talk of ourselves, we prove that we are second-rate. We may be attractive and useful, but we have not attained the first and best. The angels forgot themselves in their absorbing love for God. When shall we forget ourselves in his constraining love, so as not to live to ourselves, but to him who died for us and rose again? With twain they did fly obedient service. The third part of our energy should be spent thus. Two-thirds of communion and worship must work themselves out in service, else we become dreamy mystics. Such life becomes contagious one cried to another. There is always a cry going forth from the eager soul which is right with God, and this awakens response in others and stirs them to service. One bird in the woodlands singing at dawn will wake the whole forest glade to music. The seraphim declared that the whole earth was full of God's glory. The prophet saw his need of cleansing, woe is me. I am a man of unclean lips. We do not need to agonize with God for cleansing, but to open our hearts in confession. Immediately one of the seraphim will fly to meet our need. Nay, the Lord himself, lo, this live coal, saturated with blood and steeped in flame, which combines Calvary and Pentecost, hath cleansed our iniquity and purged our sin. Then we shall cry, Here am I, send me. Redeemed, forgiven, and cleansed sinners make the best evangelists. Prayer Give us, O Lord, more than an angel's love, for Thou hast redeemed us. Give us the swiftness of an angel's obedience, may we do Thy commandments, and hearken to the voice of Thy word. Cleanse us from all iniquity and purge us from sin, and use us in Thy service. Amen.